How's it going, guys? This is Ice Lady here, bringing you uh, week number three of the PMC against the Sydney Crooked Isles, uh, coached by Sharpino. I think that's what I'm supposed to call him. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we're here for th week three. Um, obviously, you know, against the Sydney Crooked Isles, like I said. I uh, just want to say, first off, um, if I seem a little, like, calm, calmer in this video, that's probably because I was just running around and I'm kind of out of energy. Um, so maybe that's why. So just something right there. Uh, if you didn't go check out the team builder, I highly suggest you go do that. Um, but I'll just go through the team real quick in case you don't want to go watch that. You know, we got Max Defense, Max HP, uh, Clefable, Stealth Ox, Moonlight, Heal Bell, Moonblast, um, Mega Scizor. Pretty funny, not funny, but pretty interesting spread. Enough speed to outspeed a Suicune after it's Mega Evolved, or after I have Mega Evolved. Um, and then I can go for sub, and uh, a non-invested Scald from Suicune does not break my sub. Once Again, once I'm Mega Evolved and, you know, got my speed up. Um, so yeah, Substitute, Swords Dance, Bullet Punch, Bug Bite. Then we have uh, Jelson, Bold Nature with the Cover Bear, we are Physically Defensive, Scald, Will Wisp, Recover, Toxic. Then we got Specs, Cure Him, Timid, uh, enough speed to outspeed uh, a Crocodile, Max Speed Crocodile. Um, he has no Draco switch-ins whatsoever. Um, maybe a Swallow Vest, Bisharp, but that's it. Um, so, yeah, that's that's that. Uh, yeah. Um, and we got Miracle, uh, Timid, Joy Scarf, enough speed to outspeed something. I'm not really quite sure. Oh, yeah, enough speed to um, outspeed it and max speed Talonflame. So, that's that's cool. Uh, with the Scarf, obviously. Then we'll switch uh, over to Dark Pulse, and finally we have a Greninja, Modest, Torrent, Life Orb, Grass Knot for the Suicune, Hydro Pump, just for Stab, Dark Pulse, and Ice Beam. Ice Beam uh, for the Dragulge. I somehow forgot that Dragulge was a thing. I was initially going to bring Toxic Spikes, then I'm like, wait, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ice Beam is definitely going to hopefully be useful. Alright, so I'm going to cut to the battle right here. Um, and hopefully we can pick up our second win of the PMC Season 2. I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, we are back here uh, in the battle versus uh, Sharp CJS064. Uh, I'm just going to load up Music 23. Um, before I go and in, get into anything, I'm just going to open up a damage calc. Don't know why that wasn't there before, but uh, yeah, here we are. I have my team imported, so that's fine. Uh, let me just go to Battle Box and let's see what he wants to bring. Uh, I'm taking notes on like a notepad. Um, just so that I can, just, just to help, uh, let's see, he brings almost the same team I predicted, which is kind of funny, um, I'm usually not that, that correct on it, uh, what did he not bring, he didn't bring the Bisharp, yeah, no Bisharp, um, which is fine, Crocodile's annoying because, it's a bit annoying, uh, just because, here, here's the Crocodile, I ended up just putting all of the Mons instead of under the whole layout or ever and everything. I just didn't, ended up putting them all on the side. But here we are. Um, let's see. Okay, rocks are definitely going to be paramount. I'm going to get rocks up first turn, or at least hope. If he leaves with Mega Septom, I'm just going to Moonblast it. Um, that should be my plan here. Yep. All right. Let's just do it. I'm taking notes on the notepad here. Uh, but yeah, like I said, Crooked Isle is annoying because here. Let me just write down this team real quick. Um, Save line. I'm actually writing it down like like with my hand. <laughs> or sorry, with my hand, which is kinda you know, most people just type it. But uh, anyway, Talon Flame, he's got the swell. So like I was saying, uh Crooked Isle is annoying because I can't volt switch on this whole team with my Rotom now. I have to kinda just play around that thing until it's dead, then I can just volt switch around everything. But Dragolge, like I said, in the team builder is my Ugh, excuse me. <laughs> sorry about that. I just kinda whatever um it's my it's the biggest threat to my team don't really have anything for it didn't have anything for it on my draft you know so i just kind of try to take it out as quickly as possible and again no fairy types this team is very draco weak so uh, yeah um it's funny me and him were talking kind of like how uh, swallow is kind of a threat to my team um like it is it still is a threat to my team but uh I, th I think I built for it oh, decently. We're having a bit connection issues. I don't think that's on my side. But here we are. Uh, turn one. 
Um, I don't want rocks on mine. I feel like he's just gonna get rocks up. Which is annoying. It's definitely annoying. Um, I kind of just want to switch into Kyrim and just fire off a Draco. Because now the Bishop's going to... No, I got to preserve that thing. I can't let it... It's going to take rocks damage um, if it gets if he gets the rocks up. But that's fine. I'm going to go for rocks because rocks hit, hits his team very hard as well. So hopefully he's not packing the rocks on this thing. That would be incredibly useful if he's not packing the rocks. I'd rather lose my Clefable right now. Um, to like two earthquakes then him have rocks because this Clefable really isn't it was just there for Mega Sableye as a lead he's actually gonna switch so it's cool we don't get any intel on that thing what, did he have intimidate I'm not sure um, good thing I didn't click moon blast though that would have been <laughs> stupid okay so Jogal is in here I think he's gonna let's see I really don't know what he's gonna do here. I do. I think Apollo could be useful later on. I'm not gonna. I don't want to switch into Oblivion too quickly because Bugga's. Um. Yeah, I need Talonflame to be gone. Well, not really gone. I just need to weaken it enough. And with rocks, it's definitely gonna help out. Is I mean, his swallow could carry the fog, but it's gonna have to switch into rocks first. So, do I really need teardrop? It would be. It's kind of useful. Um. It is. Oblivion's such an obvious switch, though. But, um, I feel like I should just do it. Uh, so I'm just gonna go into Oblivion. <laughs> I say that very warily, because I'm afraid he's gonna predict that and go for the HP fire. And that would really suck. That would be really bad. So, um, Scald. Okay, well, that's kind of equally as bad, because... He has a chance to burn, and he does burn. Sweet, dude. I love when people... Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Uh, let's make Evolve, and... Uh... Yeah, there's no reason to... Oh, my... I'm going to just click Sub. I think he's going to switch. Uh, we do outspeed this thing. Oh, Mega Scissor never gets to shine in my pack. I've brought him three times right so far. Um, he did pretty well in week one, but it, it just got shut down week two. And um, looks like it's going to be the same case this week. Um, I can't, I don't think I can trade my Mega. He's going to switch. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, Swellow comes in. That's fine with me, I think. Um, so, I don't know what this thing wants to do. He's not going to be, I, have, I get a sub up here. I'm definitely losing a lot of health very quickly, but I think I'm just going to click Swords Dance here. I think that's my best play. Blessed play. Because um, he might protect here to wear me down with burn. Um, so I'm going to go for Swords Dance here, predicting something. Um, uh, so let's see here. I hope we don't DC the for the first turn. We had some connection issues, so hopefully that doesn't happen. He's gonna straight for the Brave Bird. Um, we're gonna be at, back to neutral uh, attack with this because of Sword Stance. So that's a good play by him. Uh, you need to get the f basically free guts piece. Uh, he's gonna get damaged by the recoil, and Toxic's gonna be wearing him down. I don't think he has Defog. Um, but uh, we're just gonna click Bullet Punch here. Lead like. Sweeking might switch in. If Sweeking comes in, then I just go for Bug Bite. I still have, I still do live one more turn of uh, burn and whatnot. So let's click Bullet Punch. Again, there's no real reason to keep this thing around. I really hope he stays in, uh, as he does. So this Bullet Punch combined with... Oh, we pick up the kill. Sweet. All right. So um, uh, let's just remove you from the layout. Uh, as I said, we do live the burn damage. So it goes down, which was a big threat to my team. I feel like it outspeeds Greninja. Um, so that's a thing. Yeah, that's why I expected Swallow to come. Uh, was because it, it deals a lot of damage, but now that's gone. Uh, that's that, that's pretty cool. Okay, so Talonflame comes in. I'm actually, you know, I'm gonna go for the Bug Bite because I predict him to maybe Roost, and Bug Bite does more than Bullet Punch if he goes for Roost. Yep, there's the roost. Okay, so we're gonna get a neutral bug bite off. It's not gonna do that much, to be honest. 
uh, but we are because since we did get the sword stance up uh, burn gives you minus two attack and then sword stance gives you plus two so they do equal out there we get some damage off better than a bullet punch we take its charty berry which actually doesn't matter at all <laughs> it doesn't matter at all but um that's fine okay um yeah we don't have any rock type moves but that's cool that okay let's write down i haven't been writing anything down I said I was gonna write something down. Shardy Berry's gone. Shardy Berry. Okay. Then Swallow's gone. We don't need to write anything down for it because it's already dead. Okay. And Drugal just scald. I should write that down. Okay. Um, so no rocks on the field. So I drink or something. And something dies, I think. I don't want to go into Miracle because again that Crooked Owl is still around so I don't want to play games with it. Um, I was thinking right after Scissor went down I was kind of thinking Rotom he could come in and then and then predicting him to go under Dragolge, predicting me to predict his Crooked Owl and go for Overheat. I, I would go for you know something. Anyway sorry if you can hear my brother he's a he's a salty little kid. <laughs> he, says, he really sounds like a little kid. Okay. <sighs> okay, so we're firing off a Draco here. <laughs> I really want to. Okay, by the way, sorry for the sprite of Sableye not being Mega. It it didn't work as a Mega for some reason. I could only get the regular the regular Sableye, but that is a Mega Sableye by the way. So just saying that. Um, again, sorry about that. Okay, sorry. Again, sorry, 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 sorry. Remove the Mega Scissor. I always I'm never on the ball with that. Um, like I'm never just. You know, removing them right as they think. But he's got a tough decision here. Or removing them from the layout. Anyway, it's a tough decision here. I'd like to see something take this hit. I really would enjoy to see that. Let me write down Roost for Talonflame. He does withdraw. I need to land these Dracos though. Because it could be a, it could become a problem if we don't start landing them. So you can does come in. He's going to take rocks. Again, super glad that the rocks aren't on my side of the field. Uh, we do land the Draco. Let's see how much this does. I'll pull, pull up the damage calc if it doesn't do a lot. That's easy to a KO. <laughs> Sweet. Alright. Um, Swallow is n or sorry, Suicune is not... Okay, pressure. Do I want to stay in? I mean, I could just go into Greninja to be fair. Just click Dark Pulse. Because I don't want my Dracos being limited. Because if I go for another one, it's going to be down to four power points because of the um, because of the pressure. So I think I am just going to go... I'm going to Eclipse. Uh, if he goes for a rest, that's honestly fine. I do have Grass Knot. And I don't think he can hit uh, Greninja too well. Lee. So we'll see what he wants to go for. He had no lefties, which is interesting. He may be rest of Chesto, actually. But again, it can't really do much to Eclipse here. here. So there's the rest. All right. Probably rest of Chesto. But that's fine. Ugh, but that's fine. That's what I tried to say there. Again, I just switched because I didn't want to lose too many uh, power points on my Dracos because Kyurem is the biggest threat and I want to keep it around. Alright, let's just click Grass on here. Uh, actually, no, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. That's a stupid play. I mean, he might just call start Calm Minding. No, I didn't play that right, did I? Oh, he does stay in. Okay. I want to go for Ice Beam, predicting the Dragolge, but uh, that's a 2 KO. Let's see if he calm mines. Let's just go for Scald. Okay, that's fine. Um, Does he get the burn? He gets a crit. No burn. Sweet. That's what matters. Alright, so I'm just going to click Dark Pulse here, because I do predict in the switch in it, either Dragolge or Talonflame. Um, so, Dark Pulse is my play. Uh, if he wants to rest here, that's fine. He doesn't have the Chesto anymore, so let's put down that he has his Scald. Scald, and he has the Chesto Berry. Sorry if I'm getting my pen clicking on and off. If that's annoying, sorry about that. But Yeah, so I do... Oh, he stays in. It's a bit unfortunate because this does not kill. Can we get a flinch to make up for that burn? Nope, of course not. Alright, so... <laughs> Good thing is now, well, it's not really a good thing. That actually does make an amount less. 
I'm gonna click Ice Beam, predicting him to go into, predicting him to possibly switch into either Crooked Owl or Dragalge. He doesn't, so I kind of just revealed a lot of my set, but I'm fine with that, since I'm not really, I don't really need Greninja for too too much at this point. So uh, Sweet Tune, Sweet Tune, blah, Sweet Tune does go down there, so we're in a pretty good spot here. Um, Sweet Tune was annoying to deal with, but to be honest, it's not too bad. Um, for my team, but it's just, it's always, you know, it's a sweet game, so, um, kind of wishing I would just, I would have just stayed in with my Kirim at this point, uh, but it's fine, <laughs> it's fine, so, we can keep this Eclipse around, uh, in fact, I'm just gonna go into Miracle, is that my play? He may reach, though. I don't want to. Last week I kept I kept Eclipse around and it didn't even I didn't even need it. Uh, I feel like this week's is just gonna be the same. So I'm just gonna click Hydro Pump in case he roosts. Townflame comes in. Let's see. He hasn't shown any attacking moves. He's thinking hard about this. He may Swords Dance. Um, I would go for Dark Pulse, but I'm, that's not gonna kill this Talonflame after he roosts. So I want to be able to catch him on that roost if he does go for that. Obviously Hydro may miss. That would be annoying as crap. But yeah. <sighs> okay, so there's the Brave Bird. Um, Recoil actually probably won't take take him out, which is a bit annoying. Um, he must have got a high roll with that Brave Bird because that should not have killed. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Um... Again, sorry if you can hear some background noise. That's just my family, so that's cool. All right, um, let's go into Miracle and let's click. Uh, let's click Overheat because I don't want that Crooked Owl switching in. Actually, no. We just click. We just click Volt Switch because if he switches this thing out, it's dead upon entry. I mean, I guess Overheat would still be the better play. So, I don't know. But still. Um, I just, it's just that this thing dies when it comes back and he's like, oh, for the roost. <sighs> this thing's not going to be fun to deal with. So, again, sorry for the noise in the background. Um, so that cool. Ooh, Twisted Misty's online. What is up? Alright, at this point, let's just go into this thing and just click Ice Beam. Oh, I can't click Ice Beam. Alright, fine, let's click Dragon Pulse. Um, yeah, that's... <sighs> yeah, Dragon Pulse kills this thing. Um, this is like the one of the only times I'd click Dragon Pulse over Draco Meteor. I don't want to uh, Ice Beam because it may roost. Um, it's just kind of funny because, you know, <laughs> Down Flame is always just that nuke, but it's always... It's still, you know... It can still survive hits because the roost, priority roost, is always annoying. Okay, that Brave Bird doesn't do too much. He, he gets to see what I lock myself into. Uh, Talonflame is gone. Remove you. Talonflame is gone. <laughs> like I said. Um, but this is fine. Um, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Greninja is gone. So let me just... Let me just do that. Okay, Dragonus comes in. That's a bit peculiar. I do still want this thing for that... Uh, thing. <laughs> so, what do I not need at this point? I guess I don't need Teardrop as much as I need everything else. I don't need Miracle as much as everything else. It's gonna be I'm not really sure why I brought it, to be honest. Um, well, I guess because it's just the Town Flame. But, yeah. I knew that Gerald was gonna wall the, um, the realm. So. Let's hope he does go for the Draco, that's actually really good. So, um, we're gonna live that, which is funny. If he's locked into that, he's probably gonna switch. Let's click Overheat. He's probably gonna switch if he's... Oh, he's Life Orb. Oh, sweet. No, he's not. No, that's Rock's damage. <laughs> Never mind. We miss. Okay, okay. So he has Sludge Wave, so he's not Scarf, then why did he bring it in? 
Why do you bring it in there? Okay, that's a bit annoying because we could have killed this thing. I'm pretty sure. This is like the only calc I'm ever gonna do in this whole battle. Uh, I'm calcing Dragulge. Wallbreaker. Um, if it's. Uh, yeah, Ice Beam kills it. What if it's a Salt Vest? Salt Vest, Ice Beam, actually might not kill. But Dragon Pulse. I feel like Dragon Pulse is gonna have to be our play. Dragon Pulse is less? Oh yeah, because, okay. I mean, yeah. Let's go into this thing. I don't... See, he might be all Salt Vest. He's not Choice, he's not Life Orb. I might just have to Draco here. Scald, Draco, Meteor, and Sludge. Yeah, I can't risk it. Uh, I have to go for the Draco here. I can't risk him being a Salt Vest and take me out here. No, don't run. Oh, I almost clicked run there. Okay, Draco is going to go off here. He might switch. He does not. So we land the Draco. That was actually really scary. Um, just click remove. Get ready. Uh, yeah, you're not. You live that. Oh my gosh. He lived. What? Did we just. Oh, crap. He didn't. Oh. That's tough. It's really, really tough. Dude, I did not expect that. Well, at least we. Okay. So, what's faster? Do you outspeed with Apollo? No, you know what? Teardrops are play. Whoops. Teardrop, there we go. Yeah, because we can live any hit. I need to keep Clefable around. Yeah, I just, I, I do. So, let's go for the Scald here. This is very close. I did not expect this thing to live that, but th looking back on it, I should have definitely preserved my... I should have I should have switched this thing in first. Um, Kiram was the thing that I needed the most, and I let it drop. And now this is a closer battle than I wanted it to be. So, oh yeah, Suikin's down, Dragal just down. We don't know anything from the other two Mons because Crocodile switched first turn. Uh, uh, Call mine, Mega Septile might just win here. Mhm. Mm or sorry, not Septile. Make a Sableye. Either way though, I'm gonna go into Apollo here. Because this teardrop might end up being able to do something. Um, but if this thing goes for Calm Mind here, it might knock off though. Hopefully it does. Um, <laughs> hopefully it goes for an offensive move here. Um, but if it goes for Calm Mind, uh, there's not much we can do about that. Now it's here. Um, Goes for the knockoff. Sweet. That's really cool. <laughs> Alright, um, knocks off lefties. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna click Moonblast here. So that means he's basically not Calm Mind. If he was Calm Mind, he would have probably had a special attack. It's not like. Okay, it's Shadow Sneak. Okay. Okay. Um, doesn't do too, too much. So that's fine. Moonblast. That's gonna be doing enough damage. Lower that special attack. Alright, I'm not taking chances here. Um, I'm just gonna go for the moonlight here. Um, if this thing was calm mind, it might have been able to win, uh, cause it would calm mind as I switched into Clefable. He got a crit. Well, uh, doesn't matter. I'm gonna heal it off, all off anyway. If he had gone for, yeah, let me write, write this down here. Sable Eye If he had gotten a cr uh, calm mind as I switched into Clefable, and then gone for. Uh, and then gone for another Calm Mind as I went for a Moonblast. He would have been able to live the next one and and do that. So sorry if I, sorry if you can hear that in the background. But anyway, um, I'm just gonna try to talk louder than it. So Clefable, uh, just hopefully if that's Iron Tail. If that's Iron Tail. Uh, Crooked Out might be able to come back, come back and win for him. But I was really scared at that point because if that was a Calm Mind Sable, like I said. That would have been bad. I guess it was some kind of offensive set. 
So yeah, um, Cliff Fable is here, Cliff Fable is here, Cliff Fable is here, save while it goes down, let's just do that, okay. Someone just turned on the TV, so, <laughs> sorry if you can hear that, the muffled noises in the background. Is that really, okay. Alright, um, we're just gonna click Moonblast, we do have the Culberberry on the, uh, Jellicent for the second time in a row, the second week in a row, I should say, so that should be really crucial for us. Earthquake, we should live this. We are physically defensive. Let's get some kind of crit. Wow, that does nothing. Good job, Clefable. Freaking, you're a freaking beast. All right. Let's just say he's got the uh, Earthquake. And at this point, I think we got the game. This is also a... Sorry, I forgot. I failed to mention this earlier, but this is also a divisional match. Uh, so, uh, no reason to do anything but Moon Blast here. If he gets a crit, he gets a crit. It's fine at this point. Uh, he does get a crit. Okay. Um, uh, let's just remove this. Oh, he has Moxie. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Never mind. I think that mattered then. Does he Oko us? Hang in there, Teardrop. Come on. Hang in there. Just like the trainer said, hang in there. Hang in there, buddy. This is a divisional match, like, match, like I said. Wait, is he scarfed? He might be scarfed, and that might not matter. I'd rather him knock off, though. I'd rather, I mean, there's no point in calcing him you either. Okay. We're, f we're fully physically defensive. Let's go. Let's go, Jellison. Let's go, boy. That's why you run physically defensive, Jellison. That's why. That is why you run physically defensive, Jellison. And that's going to be the game. We pick up the W. Really scary with that crit, man. <laughs> like, even if he gets crit, it's fine. And then he gets the moxie. I'm like, what? Um, knockoff would have done even less because I do have the Culverberry. So, that's fine. Um, so I'm gonna save that battle, cause, you know, stuff. So Jelson's gonna pick up the w kill, that's a narrow-ass 1-0 <laughs> in our favor against the Sydney Crocodiles. Um, some late-game surprises there. But yeah, um, but again, like, so many different things could have impacted that battle, but uh, I feel like we played pretty well. Uh, it's just the mid-game, mid early to mid-game, we kind of lack in as far as play skill like what to do and stuff um i don't know i shouldn't have i shouldn't have gone to cure him if i had a suspicious suspicion that he was assault vest um which he was because you can't take that draco let me just see um well i probably should be ending up this video pretty soon he was max hp max the death uh he actually takes that Draco. that was actually a min roll though yeah that was an absolute min roll if to live that draco meteor if he's max Oh wait, he could have had a better nature. But see how much that was doing. That was doing too much damage. Uh, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> that's gonna be the video. Um, who's this? T oh, that's Twisted Misty. This is Darude, and this is Sharpino. And that's Kotaro. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please hit like, that like button. Next week we are going up against the uh, Dallas Manectrix. Lucky Lad TV. Um, I can finally start prepping for that panel. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. I can hit the like button if you enjoyed. And uh, we are 2 and 1, two and, one uh, and 2 and 0 oh in divisional, uh, in a divisional match. Uh, next week, FYI, is not a divisional match. So it's not as important, but it's still important to, to go out and perform. So that's going to be the end of the video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.